One man too was found more of the pockets and his backpack was murdered. It's been four months since the last four people have been found killed here. I don't see how this is anything special, just a normal murder case. Well I thought that too until I found this. What is it Leslie? Okay, firstly, call me by my last name. Fine, but what is that? That, my friend. I'm not your friend. That, my colleague, is a sample of saliva from the victim. This this sample is only from found on dead people. Out with this man! Bona, our suspect is brain dead. I knew it. Female intuition, like duh. <laughs> I think we should go and go cook back up. I'll be back up. Trust me, if you go back up, you'll make him McNugget himself, if you know what I mean. He just found the body. Why do we need to talk? Well, with the saliva you found, we did DNA test, and we traced it back to a Jacob McNugget. Larry's sister. Brother, actually. So therefore, his brother must know why he's doing this. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Let's go. Nugget, we have reason to believe that your brother, Jacob, is killing innocent people. What the hell? What do you mean? Are you familiar with the Game Boy game, Revenge of the Granny? Yes, I am. What does that have to do with the innocent people being murdered? Well, he became insane by the game. He did not kill, so he had to be put down. Like a dog. Like a very large ham thigh. But it can be him because he's dead now. <laughs> Professor Dyer, what did you find out about the video game? Well, the video game was tested in 2003, but it was not released to the public because people reacted like complete idiots. <laughs> Even some were put in comas. Oh, did, did anyone's brain ever get affected to the extent that they would become brain dead, yet still able to move or kill? Yes, there were two subjects. That happened too. <laughs> Their names were Jacob McNugget and the other boy, Larry McNugget. Jacob's <gasps> twin brother. <gasps> um, are you sure Jacob is dead? Yes, we have the uh, records of Jacob being created on the 16th of November 2004. Well that explains everything. We had the same DNA sample on the scene at the scene because it was Jacob's twin brother. Wait, do we still have Larry in custody? No, we were only able to detain him for 48 hours. He could be long gone by now. I mean, I'm talking Mexico. I think I might know where he is. take the right, I'll take the left. No, I'll take the left. I can't see out of my right eye. How come you never told me this? Well, I never really thought it was all that important. Well, that's weird. You always take the right and get injured. Look, I really think we should get back to the case. What case? Oh, alright. The insane gamer. I love my job. Alright, I'll take the right. You confuse me. Come on, Rex. <laughs> Like, yeah, boner out. <laughs> uh.
Get up! Oh! Uh, 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 uh. Hey, like, how did you know to give him battery? Well, on the last victim, their bo their pockets were mauled and their backpack was invaded, so they're looking for something. Yeah, but how did you know to give him battery? When I was in high school, I studied a language called Malacoesian. The game The Revenge of Granny was released in that language. And do you know what Malacoesian is for battery? Let me guess. Battery? Exactly. It's a part of me I cannot get rid of. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Left the safety off. <laughs>